Well, hello, my dear crafty friends. My channel has become a lot of new subscribers. Thank you for that. And that inspires me to make more videos. Well, my English is not so good, but I try my best. Hope you can, uh, you can know what I say. Uh, you can understand what I say. Okay, yesterday started a 30 day coloring challenge by Kathy. Uh, I put link to her blog on the description. But I was so inspired for her uh, example that I started to make my own. So yesterday I started coloring. That was first day of challenge. I didn't make a video for color coloring these, but I love these uh, little piggies. Uh, I used chick color and here is the stamp set I have used. This is Joycraft stamp set and I really love this. They don't uh, do this stamp set anymore but I, I found this from a second hand craft store and it came to me yesterday so but today this is uh, day two for coloring challenge and I use aquarelli paper made by Jukka Rintala Finnish designer this is a very very thick paper you see and there is a lot of texture texture uh, can you see it in camera and I will make this kind of creation okay so I use this paper and what I need is stencil and in this stencil, I have used this stencil adhesive glue. This is very good glue. And I put it uh, here with, uh, wait a minute, where is it? Oh, wait, wait a moment. Oh, yes, here it is. I just put here. And it sticks on paper, but not so much that it tears up paper. And um, this is memory box stencil. Usually I don't uh, keep these packages of stencils. I throw them away, but uh, this I have left. So I use also, also metallic uh, watercolors, uh, fine deck, and uh, there is many different colors, pearl colors. But I think this is metallic pearls. Okay. And this is first time when I use these blender tools and watercolors. So I didn't know, uh, does it work good with this? But yes, I did this, so it worked very well. What else? Yes, I use this uh, watercolor pencil and uh, one regular, mm, I don't know what it is. Uh, Pencil, is it pencil or something? Uh, what else? Yes. 
and I have got these lids where I put the colors. Okay, before I start coloring, we have to activate these colors. I put little water here and let it stay for a while. And then I take another for another pencil for another color. Uh, this color is named by uh, blue green, but I think uh, it's more green. And this color is red violet. This is a uh, little violet and um, red brown, I think. Yes, let's put a little, just for a little while and it activates. Let's see, I think green is already. Yes, now the color is coming, very good. I put it quite a lot here. When I think it's enough, not quite yet. Okay, just a little more. This is not coming so easily. I could use a uh, normal pencil too. Okay. And then the red one. I should have bigger, bigger pencils. This is too little. It takes time to come. Okay, I think that is enough. Just a little more, just a little more, and just a little more, okay? And then I have this normal pencil and I take water from here a little I put yes okay I put water in here just a little and I use this bright white what is the name of the color? Silver pearl. Okay, but th this is more bright white. I don't think it's silver. Or maybe a, a little silver. No, this is not pe better pencil. But I really want to use this, this blender because, because of uh, that it's easier to put that on stencil. Okay, I think I'm ready now. Let's put, put this aside. Yes, and I have used this just once and there, I think there is still glue on. So this sticks, yes, it sticks still. Very good. 
I wanna press it hard because this is so uh, detailed that I want it to be very good, uh, very good stick. <laughs> oh, I'm so in embarrassed about my bad English, <laughs> but uh, you can see what I do. Okay, just tapping down. I tap quite quite hard because this uh, paper is uh, uh, textured so it takes time to get there and in the edges I I don't put it so well because I want these colors to blend a little but I think that is enough. Okay, let's see. Yes, <laughs> you can see the result when when this is not done. But and then we put this green color. Oh, I I love so much everything which is metallic, pearl, and I love also neon colors very, very much. And these colors may blend together a little. Okay, I need more green now. Okay, let's take it more I could use this but not 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 because it goes under the template so easily that I want to use this blender tool but earlier I haven't even think about that it could be possible to use watercolors and blending tools. I'm not that kind of person who experiments a lot um, without any information or, or examples. But uh, now I did it. <laughs> Very brave, very, very brave, don't you think? <laughs> lol, lol, lol. Okay, it blends. There is a little red color, but it doesn't matter. Hard to see is is this enough? So I will continue just a, just for a while. Okay, hope it's enough. And then I put uh, on the edges. I put this white. there enough no there is not enough this is so thick thick and textured paper that <clears throat> I have to put very much okay let's put some color white color more Mm 
no oh, I love this color this is very and <clears throat> What is good about metallic colors, they look very, very nice on uh, black or dark cardstock. And someday during this uh, 30 day period, I will sure try and because Christmas is coming, I will use uh, dark blue or and not or and dark dark blue and dark green and red cardstock. This could be very good in uh, um, Christmas card, but I have. Uh, uh, about I have one or two more template template which is more Christmas than this but I think this is okay for Christmas too you never know when it's ready because you you can't see Okay, I think it's ready now, but let's let's wait just for a moment it to try. I think I can take it away. Okay, now I'm a little excited. How does it came up? Is it similar than this one? Okay. Uh, I think uh, these are unique. Okay. Not so much green. But it looks okay. There is more white on the edges. Yes. It looks quite good. And now there is uh, 28 days for this uh, coloring challenge. But I don't know if I can do videos every day or even coloring every day. But I try to. And uh, that's it. If you like my video, you can put thumbs up and if you are new on my channel, uh, welcome and you can subscribe. If you have already subscribed my channel, I thank you and uh, I will continue my videos and I try to uh, learn English more. <laughs> I can write better than speak, but um, I use uh, a lot of dictionary because some words are uh, very difficult. But if I continue speaking, I, I think I will learn more. And uh, then there is uh, that that effect too that uh, when there is camera I'm a little excited or ner nervous so oh yes I love this shiny I don't know can you see it in camera yes very shiny I love shiny things but hey now I have speak enough uh, Goodbye and see you next time.